What's happening, everybody? Welcome back. This is Forgo, and today we're going to be doing some roster reviews, starting off with Alton. And Alton wanted to know, is Phi Lavelle worth using a Mega Rank Up ticket on? And the answer is, I mean, yeah, I think so. She gets 30% all attack to all Universal Allies. She's going to help you in the against regular world bosses. She's also, also going to be very useful uh, whenever you do get Beta Ray Bill. I mean, I know this is a pretty new account, but whenever you start going through the epic quest and you start trying to get beta ray bill she is going to be proved she's going to prove to be very valuable especially for one shots if that's something you're interested in so if you're looking and she is a pretty good standalone character in all reality but most people you know after they play for a while they just mainly use her for support and you also asked about your cards and you were asking about how to craft cards and all these kinds of things uh, there's actually, you know, I'd have to dedicate a complete video to how to craft cards, but the piece of advice that I will give you is don't craft any of these cards that you have here. Not one of them. I wouldn't craft any of these cards. Every month, as long as you're farming in GBR, you're going to be able to get a free P card every, I think, 40 days, actually. And the card that you're looking for is either the Guardians of the Galaxy card, this one right here, or you're looking for the baby spider card, or you're looking for the cable card, you're looking for one of those cards, or you're looking for the uh, Luna card, if I can find it real quick here, or you're wanting to get this Luna card. Those cards are freaking amazing for crafting, and if that's something you're interested in, I would wait until you get one of those cards before you craft anything. Vicky here wants to know, what are the best characters with movement speed for Mephisto? And there's actually quite a few characters that are really good. In all honesty, even though you have Sentry with a regen, Sentry is freaking super, super fast. He's actually got a really great leadership. So even though you have a regen on him, you could use him in the leadership, use his leadership for the debuff removal and the extra all attack. And then you can just switch to Sentry whenever Mephisto is going in phases where you need to move around super, super fast. Sentry's really quick. Null's really quick. Odin's actually got fairly decent speed. Silver Surfer, I mean, you could use him for leadership. He has a debuff, and he does give a little extra all attack when debuffed. He's actually super fast as well. Cable's very quick. Uh, Rogue is freaking super fast. So is Black Widow. Moon Knight, Beta Ray Bill is pretty quick. Game is pretty quick. All of the characters are pretty fast on their feet. Raheem here... He wants to know who his next tier 3 should be, Rogue or Beta Ray Bill. Well, it really depends on who you're trying to prioritize in World Boss. Is it Mephisto? Is it Null? Are you trying to get a mighty CTP from Null? Are you trying to get a mighty uh, CTP of regeneration from Mephisto and energy for Null? You know, what, what are your goals? If it's Null, then I would probably say Black Bolt. I think Black Bolt's actually better for Null, in my personal opinion. He's much more consistent, and both of them characters, Rogue and Black and Black Bolt, uh, need a Rage. Now, Rogue, you can put a CTP of Judgment on. She'll actually be amazing with that damn thing, especially the more Pierce you get on your cards. But I still think Black Bolt overall is better, especially if you have Medusa, which you do. You have your Medusa Transcended. So actually having Black Bolt, you'll actually have that synergy. So personally, I would go with Black Bolt, because you actually can alternate between Medusa and Black Bolt for your clears. And when I take a look at your cards, I see that you do have Pierce. So you got 4% Pierce, the same as me. Your Black Bolt's going to be able to do, you know, stage... I mean, I can do a stage 9 uh, clear with Black Bolt using two supports, Medusa and Mystique or Valkyrie. And I can do stage 9. And I do have more energy attack than you, but with your energy attack, I would say confidently that you can easily do stage seven stage eight uh null with max team if you take off uh, one of your damage dealers maybe you're going to be doing stage six maybe stage seven with black bolt maybe i'd say stage six to be more consistent but you do got that energy tech proc which is actually really nice personally i would go with black bolt rogue is amazing I and mean, if you want to go for mephisto if you're prioritizing you know clearing mephisto then easily it would be rogue because she actually has the type advantage and Rogue's actually damn good because of her heal, uh, because of her damage output, because of the fact that she is a speed type, you can actually enhance her type enhancement. So if it's Mephisto, I would pick Rogue. If it's Null, then I'd pick Black Bolt. And if you're looking for a character really for both of them, 
I still would probably go with Black Bolt. This is just my personal opinion. Rogue is amazing in her new uniform. It's just her critical damage prop from her uniform effect is very RNG based. When it hits, she hits like a truck. And if she always hit like that, I would tell you Rogue. But because she doesn't always hit that hard, I would give it to Black Bolt. He's just more consistent, at least in my humble opinion. So forgive me for what I'm about to do, but I'm probably going to mispronounce your name, my friend. Uh, Neurodyne here has a Scarlet Witch card and a Black Panther card. Now, I don't know which Black Panther card he has, but he wants to know, should he use one of them? Well, I've taken a look at your cards, and I can tell you, yes, you should use one of those cards. I would probably replace the new Avenger 9 card. This card has no cooldown, and all you have is energy attack. There's no other all attack. You do have ignore defense, but we can make it up with one of those other cards. And when I look at your card effects, you only have 23% cooldown. You really want that about 27%. You do have a cooldown proc, but it's activation rate 5% chance when dealing critical attacks. It's not consistent. You want to always have 27% cooldown, at least at a minimum, as long as you're in an alliance. And since I don't know which Black Panther card you have, we're just going to talk about all of them. So if we go to the cards, and we'll just go straight to the Scarlet Witch card here. So if you rolled the optimal stats on this card, you'd actually gain 7% energy attack. No physical attack, you would gain about 2% ignore defense, 1.5 to 2% ignore defense, maybe stay about the same. But you would gain a little cooldown. You would actually gain about 5 to 6% cooldown, which is exactly what you need you just got to make sure that this cooldown is rolled on this card and here i would really if you had energy attack you wouldn't gain no physical attack but at least you would but you would gain a little energy attack you put your energy attack at 49 percent instead of 42 percent and if you could roll the attack speed here that would actually be really good now, when you get into the Black Panther cards, you got the Black Panther number 35, and you got the Black Panther number 166. Now, if you have this card right here, this is going to be the best card. This is an amazing card, especially to the Avengers number 9 card. So, if you roll the optimal stats on this card, you could end up with 50% energy attack versus your 42% energy attack currently, so you gain about 8% energy attack. If you roll this thing to quality 11, you would get about 17% physical attack, and currently you have zero. Your cooldown will go up to about 35%, but again, you probably won't roll a quality 7 card, probably around quality 4, quality 5, so maybe you'd have 33% cooldown. Maybe you would have about 48% energy attack, but you're still gaining energy attack, and you're going to gain a lot of physical attack from having this card. And as long as you roll your attack speed here, you'll keep your attack speed where it is. And you really want to have ignore defense here to keep your ignore defense close to where it is right now. You really don't want to lose any ignore defense. And here you would want to roll physical attack. Now, if you have this card right here, the Black Panther number 35, then things get a little bit different. Your energy attack will remain almost the same, pretty much about the same, but you would gain about 17% physical attack and currently you have no physical attack at all your ignored defense would actually you know be about the same your attack speed would be about the same but you would gain enough cooldown your cooldown could be about 29 percent so you already have the cooldown there you already have the ignored defense you just want to make sure that you roll all attack right here it really doesn't matter here in all honesty you can leave this blank the critical damage would be nice but it really doesn't matter and then here you, you'd want the attack speed, but it really doesn't matter. In all honesty, if I had this thing at all, if I had this all attack stat and this was a good quality 3, quality 4 card, I would probably go ahead and switch it with your new Avengers number 9. You're going to be gaining some stats. And last but not least, a gentleman by the name of Arif was asking me, who should he choose between, you know, Black Bolt or Thor? Well, both of these characters are freaking awesome. In all honesty, I have a little bit more luck with Thor against Null, he seems to do a little bit more damage, but it's pretty close to be perfectly honest. But Black Bolt definitely does better against Mephisto. I do think that Black Bolt is easier to play. I also think that the fact that his heal comes right when he does this little stomp on his, the fist skill is just more consistent than having a heal that actually lasts, that it, that's on a 12 second cooldown. I mean, 
it's it's a difficult thing in all honesty between these two characters because i think they're both really good characters to choose between the tier three selector i really think it depends where you are in the game i mean if you have beta ray bill i think thor's a really great choice but you're still not going to do quite as good against mephisto as you would black bolt and if you have medusa then black bolt's going to do even better because you got her as a support and you can use her as a damage dealer and the other thing about that is medusa is a universal type and along with a universal type like black bolt and the fact that he doesn't deal any elemental damage he just he's just going to do better against mephisto and he's still going to keep up pretty much with thor against null so and he's more proc friendly than thor too that's something else that's really nice about him this is not to say that i think thor is worse than black bolt it's just i think that black bolt's easier to play i think he's more consistent with his damage to be perfectly honest you're going to need a rage for both characters but i mean if you have a ctp of judgment then i would probably just go ahead and go with thor and slap a ctp of judgment on him however just know that if you know you don't have any peers you're not going to do as good as what you would with a rage until you get about 10 percent peers once you get up to about 10 percent peers then the ctp of judgment is going to do a lot more damage for thor and i think that's really when thor is going to shine a whole lot more and all in all honesty when you get more pierce on your cards but to be fair so will black bolt because he actually has chain hit damage in his damn passive so when you put a rage on me actually has chain hit so it's really kind of a toss-up in all honesty it really depends i mean if i had a well-built medusa i'd probably say easily black bolt if i had a well-built beta ray bill then I'd probably say Thor. But I do think in a, when I compare these two characters that Black Bolt is just more consistent. Both of them have heals, but Black Bolt's heal is on a 7.5 second cooldown versus a 12 second cooldown from Thor, even though Thor's is better. You know, plus Thor has an iframe when he does his tier 3, whereas Black Bolt don't. Black Bolt can actually get hit during the tier 3, but against Null, that's not a big deal. Against Mephisto, it can be a big deal, but honestly, it was pretty easy doing the clears. So hopefully that'll shed some light for you, Arif, as far as which character maybe you want to choose for your Tier 3. And this concludes the roster reviews for today. So please put your IGN in the comments down below. Make sure that you ask me a specific question about your account, whether it's cards, you know, where to put CTPs, you know, what what character to, to use a Tier 3 selector on, whatever it may be. Make sure you ask a specific question so i can answer it in the next video and i stream on twitch at reset sunday through thursday the link will be in the description below and i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching y'all take care and have a good one